fault that my family are idiots. Well, it's not my fault that you haven't got a penis. <laughs> she hasn't, has she? Oh! oh, hiya, Mick. What a surprise. Uh, give me a minute, I'll get my coat. Uh, no, Cathy, I'm, I'm on duty. And who's she? <laughs> He's on duty, Mammy. He's working. I thought he said duty. No, duty. <laughs> Actually, I'm here to see Dermot. Dermot? For what? Can I speak to you in private? Anything you have to say to him can be said right here. We're all family. Yes, we're all family. Well, not them two, really, they're not really. <laughs> Maria, maybe I should talk to Mick in the kitchen. Good idea. Everybody into the kitchen. <laughs> no, here. Now, what is it, Detective O'Leary? How did you know his name was O'Leary? Because I recognize him from the hospital. Oh, I met him a couple of times. In the children's clinic. She said that before, yes. Now, what do you want here? Um, I'm investigating a uh, attempted break-in at a warehouse in Port Marnock last Friday evening. Jesus. Two men, fitting the description of Dermot Brown and one Buster Brady, were seen at the scene with a truck. At what time? 11.30. Couldn't have been my husband. He was with me. Where? Here. They were here. Everyone in your fecking book. They were all here. <laughs> I went to bed about 12 o'clock with a hat and the place was freaking packed. <laughs> Fellas with body clavers over there and fellas with stockings over the head over there. It was, please, mummy, they were here. That's what I said. And would you both swear to that in court? I would, twice. <laughs> Dermot Brown was having a night in with his wife, Detective O'Leary. Maybe you should try doing the same yourself. Clear. Fuck off. 